how we just said in the last video how it's getting really cold. It gets cold so quick here that now we need to start covering our little tropical area that we have. So what we need to do back here is we need to create sort of like this greenhouse around it and then we have to go get some shop lights and kind of keep it keep it warm and keep this little like microclimate in this area. What's the plan? Stan? That was cut to a really weird shape for what we had it in the front yard. That's the problem here when you're covering a, a section of trees. You can't have the plastic touching the leaves because if you do, it'll it'll freeze those bits that you touch. So that is the dilemma. So you're gonna use this pool a uh, ladder too? Is that what we're gonna do? <laughs> hey, that could be the center support. That could be. Cause that way it wouldn't make a hole in it. It wouldn't make a hole in it. We probably should use it. Might as well. Yeah. You can so stick it right here in the middle. Yeah, cause that's gonna wanna get a hole in it. We have a spot just for it right here. Okay. Let's put that in here. We've got these four corners that he's put into our fence right here. So we've got one pole, two, three, four. Then we're going to put this pole ladder right in the middle of it. I'm kind of excited about this because then I can use it as a bit of a greenhouse too. So what you're saying is we just, what we should just do is just build uh, like walls, do the walls and then have a way to drape over the top, something that we take on and off every day. Guess so. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna have to do. Man, we got a couple really big chickens. Yeah. We should probably butcher like 10 of them next week. Raising chickens is such a pain, but it's so worth it to be able to have a really high quality meat in your freezer. It's just, that's a big deal. We're coming in to the end here though, and it's gonna be really nice. So we finally, finally are letting them free range. So what we did is we just left a little spot open in this area. Some of them still go in here. Is that the limpy one over there? That one looks like it's limping. We had that one, remember that had her leg? Yep, look, look at it. Jeez Louise. It's still walking though, so I would assume it would just kind of heal if there's not a sore. I think it's just, what happens to this breed. <laughs> Maybe that drumstick will be extra tasty. No, I don't know. I think they just, they, some of them, they, they're prone to having leg problems and so it's gonna happen, you know? You're gonna get one out of the 50 that are gonna have that. We've got a couple real, like this guy right here, he's really big. One in the back. You can kind of tell too by their comb, how big their comb gets. These guys are doing good though. They're out here pecking in the grass. These guys are lazy. We still got three bags of feed though. So that'll be, that'll be plenty. Once we get rid of uh, the really big ones, that'll make way for the younger ones or the smaller ones to be able to actually have a fighting chance for more food. I love seeing them run around. I think it's funny. I'm wandering pretty far. Now that we have the ducks gone, we can let our lane hens go in there too with them. So just everybody's just mingling together. Pretty crazy to think that all these chickens are gonna be in our freezer, huh? We had to actually get an extra freezer for all this chicken, but it's nice because we're going to have a whole year of meat, a whole year of chicken meat. It's going to be nice. Like this guy right here, she's, she's really little. Usually the little ones are the females, so she's got a little ways to go. Doing good. Well, the kids told me that I am not a good smoothie maker, apparently. Hurting my feelings. <laughs> so Kevin apparently is the good smoothie maker and we're gonna see what he does. That is so amazing. All right, I think today we'll do chocolate chip banana. All right, so how do you do that? So we always have 
probably five gallons of milk from our goats that we have to use up. Okay. Yeah, we do have a lot of milk all the time. Just with, we're milking one goat. So we have to try to find ways to use it up all the time. And the way you do it is you fill ice cube trays with all these extra gallons of milk you have. Yeah, it's a pretty smart idea. And then you put them in a really cool Blendtec blender. And you spill them out the sides. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You put a banana in there? Put a banana in there, put some chocolate chips. And more milk. Do you put sugar or is the banana sweet enough? A little bit of sugar. A little bit of sugar. A little bit of vanilla. Is this your specialty? Yes. <laughs> well, it's nice. It's a good afternoon snack, even when it's cold outside. Yeah. Still, we still have our smoothies every day. Really not a smoothie. It's a milkshake. Can it be called a smoothie if it's not help, not like green stuff in it? Fruit. It does have a banana. You can put spinach in there too because it doesn't affect the flavor of it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So why aren't you using organic, all natural sugar? Because um, you, because you don't buy that, Kevin. Good. Very good. Chocolate chips. 